Right, this is a video. Um, welcome for the start, uh, and thanks for watching me videos on my channel. Um, this should be the last side mission before you get uh, the 516, which everyone keeps asking about. But I've been told you get it after three side missions, pirate radio, don't kill the messenger, and something else. I've done pirate radio on the other one, I think. So. Um, let's see it on don't use the uh, killer messenger now again as I always say I'm playing on extreme here uh, I do that because it's no good me showing someone I, I haven't done it just the first time I'm doing it myself but it's no good me showing someone how to do something that you can't get past and they've come online and typed how do you get past don't kill the messenger or whatever and see me doing it on easy like certain one or two other YouTubers um, and go through a shitload of enemy like on a hot knife through butter and, and complete the level and they go oh it's right and have a go and they play it on hard and they get absolutely lamp by them all which will happen um, you've, you've, you've just got to be tactical. You've, you, if you're playing on extreme, you've got to look around them corners before you go around them, or, and, and you've got to plant mines behind you if you if you if you're sitting off, you know, because uh, uh, you know you bet your life uh, the, the, a shotgun man will creep up behind you and blow your fucking head clean off. So that being said, I shall prove it to you and show you. There, I'm on extreme. Ah, oh, just so, um, so we'll have a go at it and see how, see, see what, what becomes of it. So, thanks for watching, and let's get on with it. Not exactly crazy, is he? That's a bit low, isn't it? So we, we'll choose that. Um, go to shot. I don't want to bore you, like, but I need some stuff. I was always thinking saying to watching don't know whether Willie B will see this video. Hope so because I want some advice but either way um I watch years and I got um going well why are you running out of uh, health syringes? You know, how come you going through them running around looking for health like mad? I never run out. Well <laughs> that's because um I think it was on advanced at the time, but uh, since I've been on extreme, um, I don't think you could start on extreme. I'm not sure, but anyway, I like to play a little, a couple of hours to get my heads around a game like this because it's, it's so uh, in depth, and then start a, a proper good save when I know what I'm doing, what I'm supposed to do, and how things go and that. But a game like Call of Duty, I'll just start on veterans straight away, to, you know, and it'll say, you know, you will not survive. Are you sure you want to choose this before it go, goes on? And just pick, yeah, I'm sure. Um, I've actually, I don't want to blow me on something like, but I've actually gained competitively in the early 2000s. Um. When Windows XP first came out, and 
of about 10 years and someone else took over the team and but we we, we had uh, we were in leagues and tournaments and the least we won was at a a 12 month game server um, and considering it was at 180 pounds a month rent well, it wasn't too shabby because it wouldn't run, run online or anything like that anyway shut the fuck up and get on with it I wish they'd fix the friggin' parachute on this. Willie B is a. Uh, he's been complaining about it. I don't know whether he's gone about it officially because he gets the game free, don't he? Off, off the uh, software developer. Oh, fucking hell. Off the software developer, so I don't know, but I know he's, uh, he's been. been out in the, uh, getting in his. There's a uh, knickers in a twist already. We're in some deep shit, Nomad. What are you talking about? I hear Jesus Intel started a devastating chain reaction that led to his arrest. He's holed up in a drone support station by the bar. You need to rescue him and get him away from the area. Where will I take him? Jesus will know where to go. Just make sure he's protected at all costs. On my way. Cap on, lads. Not in the Pala Regiment ethos to lose your fucking beret, boy. Meow, fellas, I've had you in the brig. Man, he, he got he got he got pricked himself, you know. Um, he was shot in Korea, and he, he went he went to the bar, B A O R, which is the stood for the British Army on the Rhine. You know, on the Rhine and the River Rhine in Germany. That's where he was based. Well, that's where the army was based. He, um, he came from Korea. I used to call it his spider. Yeah, it had like a little mole that looked like the legs coming off it, but it was absolutely good. But, um, where am I going? But, um, but yeah. Uh, he was there and a Hindu guy wouldn't take his turban off and the NCO came in 
and went, take that turban off, you fucking Arabic, Arabic. And he said, listen, you ignorant fuck, I'm not an Arabic. I don't get on with Arabics. I'm a Hindu. I'm not from Pakistan. And, um, he went a Gurkha, but he was like from by there, somewhere by there, and he was a freaking good soldier apparently, so my dad said. Um, and my dad said, leave him alone. He went, no, he can't, he's not having that tape. And he said, why do you need to do some procedure on his head or on his face? He went, no. He said, well, fucking leave the team, leave him alone. He doesn't want to take his turban off. It's against his religion to take his turban off, especially in front of you, apparently, so he's saying. So, leave him alone. Stay out of this. And he's out as a boxer, boxer for his company, and if you're good at sports in the army, Nigel Ben told me this, um, if you go to sports in the army, they let you sleep in longer than all the other lads. And while all the, all the other lads are queuing up with their bacon and beans and, bre- and, and fried, fried, fried bread, sausages, you're in bed having a lie in. And when you get up, they're on training and you're eating something very nutritious but either way my dad used to get get up at half past five anyway and run around this year my uncle used to always uh, have a joke and say um, well, I want that truck there with the on the end but, okay. uh, she enjoyed the world too yeah, my uncle used to always say, uh, you, you knew the ones who used to spit on the deck because they had no front seat. I went, why? And went, because your dad knocked them out and my mum just grabbed me by the arm and went, that's it, out, oh, come on. Because he, he, did, he didn't like, me, me, my uncle used to have a, a drink with me, uh, oh, he, the, when I was young, have a drink with himself in the back garden of my nan's, my nan's house, my dad's mum's. And uh, my uncle would tell me all sorts and my mum, you know that, I don't know whether you've seen Carlito's way. And he's got to um, get that guy escaping from prison off the Rikers Island in the water. And he goes for on the boat to get him uh, free. The guy's in the mafia, he's paid the guards to get him in the water and all that. And he's got to get to a little boy in the water and they pick him up on the ship. And uh, before they do it, Carlito's got a nice beard and doesn't want her to know anything. And um, in the club, soft ass. He's played by Sean Penn in the movie, and Carlito's played by Al Pacino. And he say, uh, he's coked up, and the solicitor. And he's actually in Vice City, Ket Rosenberg, that's him, Vice City. But anyway, he, sa- he says, uh, you don't get seasick, do you, Carlito? He's going, shut up, uh, just, just shut up. And he went, uh, his bear goes, why, why, why did you ask that? And he went, no, no, it's just time's coming, tick, 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 tick. He's going, shut up, Dave, shut up. And then he goes, she, she says to Carlito, what about Charlie? She called him Charlie. Fine, And uh, He went, I don't know what he's on about. He goes, tell me now what about and how I can fucking... Uh, relate to that scene so much through my own bed and my young days because she she then says what both and she he says I'm, I don't know and then um, she just picks up a coat and walks out and he grabs Dave by the throat and says you ever say any gangster shit in front of my bed again and I will put this fist right through the front of your face and looking back, I remember that. I used to walk away with my mum and I'd look back and I'd see my dad and my uncle saying, will you stop saying shit in front of me, son? To be honest, I'm not that ass, but it, it's doing the wife's head in, you know what I mean? So anyway, yeah, that scene always reminds me of uh, of that. But he, oh, the only things I know is what he, to, he, he told me. 
But yeah, um, so they were good to me, Dad, and he used to say, stay out of this one. And he went, no, this one I'm staying in. He went, stay out of it. It's nothing to do with you. You're all right at the time being. Just, just, just shut up and, you know. And he went, no, it's, it's the man's religion. Um, and he went, just stay out of it. He went, no, actually, this one I'm staying in. Mate, leave you. And he went, who you sitting on all that? And he ended up getting bricked for shit for longer than he would have been when he was shit. Than he's been in there, uh, shit. But, anyway. This is stupid. There's no one here. Well, that seems fixed, but I put myself right on top now. Now then, what's up, ball bag? Hello, don't talk to me. Talk to Morris and he is out. Come on. Thanks for showing up, sport. Listen. Savage is on his way here. Yeah, Ido and I figured that out. Why is Savage gunning for you? I broke the story that led to that rat bastard's downfall. And he decided to have his revenge. Classic asshole move. There's more to it, obviously. But the important thing is that I really tried to make a difference here. Don't worry about it. He's not taking you or these outcasts. Let's get down to brass tacks.
contact! Enemy contact! Well, bear in mind, I've only just switched me PC on, so I'm not worms up. A body still hanging over the top of the, uh, the car, look. Here's me gunner. never lose it, that truck. And there's another one there that I can't, there it is behind me on the map, see? But I can't loot that because I've got a, oh, fuck this. Come on then, if you want to fight. And this is how I'm, uh, what I'm treating you how to get the 516, but not shorty, the proper 516. That's the only gun that we're all missing. And this is how you get it. This is a walkthrough. This is why I'm doing it. Just for you guys. Anyway. Gets a fat bonus. Got him. Shotgun, you play. Super close there, sport. Just keep moving forward.
Nice work today. There's no way I could have stopped Savage. Look, I know I can be pompous and a little abrasive, but if you need anything, anything at all, drop me a line. You got it. Thank you. There we go. The five one six. Oh, I want to do. I don't want. I want a fucking blue. Ah, oh, there we go. Thank you very much. So just two ends, eh? We'll go and check that out. see me birds here I've been here for a while so Let's see what he's got for me One shake guitar player, he is. Once he takes requests.
Come on, give me a gold. Accuracy and range, nice. Someone's gonna need to look after Harmony. Yeah. She's going to need a lot of help. She needs someone who can really take the time to process her emotions and raise her right. Got anyone in mind? Well, she's close with Skell, but... He is incredibly wealthy. She'd want for nothing. Yeah. All he does is work. And he spoils her to make up for it. That's no way to raise a child. What she needs is time and space to heal. And someone looking after her that can give her all the love she needs. Fox didn't make it. What happened? He sacrificed himself. Yellowleg got him. Damn. So much death. I'll miss that little fellow. He was an odd duck, but I kind of liked him. So did I. Hell, everyone liked him. He had a charm to him, even if he was a bit of a nerd. <laughs> He was a good guy. You know, he reminded me of Mads in a way. Too damn giving. Always putting himself before others. I ain't surprised to hear he sacrificed himself. I just wish he could have asked for help, you know? Or at least thought about his daughter. It's just a damn shame. We could have helped him. He had friends here. I'll see you around. You be safe out there. Yes, ma'am. After what you did in Freeport, only the best for you. Right. And that is how you get your 516. Um, Check it out, see how it fires. Uh, I don't like the th thumping um, ones, even with the silencer. Uh, the org's quite nice, especially for a, a 7.62. Uh, chambered gun, which I think it is. It's the... It is a NATO gun, so it is a Western gun. Unlike, like, say, the AK or the Galil or whatever, which are both in 7.62 as well. But the only NATO ones in 7.62 are the SCAR, FN SCAR. Um, the FN FAL is, is uh, what do they call it now? Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll add a date anyway. And um, discontinued, so... I think the steer org comes in uh, 5.56 and 7.62 caliber. Um, but so even though it's firing the heavy rounds, because uh, you only have to swap over the bar. That's what that's what's beautiful about that rifle. It's a really nice gun. Um, not that I'd know. You know, practically, but 
Let's just read. Anyway, <laughs> um, what well, I forgot what I was going to say now. Um, yeah, the recoil on that just doesn't bounce everywhere. It just sort of like pulls back into your shoulder. So yeah, as long as you've got it nicely tucked into your shoulder, um, I think it, you know the, the gas piston is um, is built in such a way that it, it it doesn't recoil vertically upwards. It it recoils back all the force of, of um, the expenditure of the kinetic energy of the bullet um, fires the that's why it's all rubberized at the back. Yeah, I'll put it. That is an old well, well a stay stay old made by H and K. Yeah, well stay sorry H and K but both both chamber guns. Um, yeah it is it is an old you know Nice gun. They normally come like that though, in uh, all of them, in that colour, like that, the whole thing. So it would look something like that. Um, the uh, French Foreign Legion use it, and GSG-9, GMF, or a few other people use it. Nice gun, but let's see how this five fives and There's the 516. Let's just set it up. Right, range in accuracy. So, the black, nice gold bells that you can see through. Well, normally you can see through there, but it's got a rail on a Picatinny rail. Um, well, that's a Picatinny rail. That was just. Um, just so you don't burn your hand, basically. Uh, so, yeah, magazine, I put gold, scope gold, to tell me that it's a, a powerful range rifle. It's got plus 30 range, and with it being accuracy, oh, I was British. I mean, we, we took the fall to the Falklands, the SLR they used to call it, so as my dad did, he was fascinated that there was a rifle that you didn't have to use the bolt action to put a button. A, a bullet back in the chamber because he fought with the old Lee Enfield rifles and he was going, you just put a magazine in it's got 20 rounds already and it just fires you just bang 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 you know uh, and now you know he'd never ever seen full auto that was semi auto but he was fascinated with that he could strip down a Lee Enfield with a blindfold and put it back together but um with, with this fouls, he's well left the army then. Uh, oh, was he in Northern Ireland? Well, I can't remember, but he was fascinated with them. And um, they were our last ones to uh, use him. Five, five, uh, 762. I was going to say something else about it, I forgot. Anyway. Oh, um, about its accuracy. Uh, we talking to the Falklands. Um, now, the Argentinians have the same gun, but their fouls had full auto, so after three shots, they were shooting the moon, whereas we had it on semi auto, so you just go. You know, nice. You know, um, 
see your target, nice, nicely placed, well placed shots, you know what I mean? Uh, accuracy. In fact, one of the biggest gun makers in the world is AI Accuracy International, which is a British firm, but somehow the American gets all the contracts, and they, they got, they, they've got a 50 calibre rifle, and it's, oh my god, the AS-50. Look at it, um, does it... Have you, remember that Makovic? Uh, I forgot his second name. I think he's died now, the poor guy. Um, he was a Navy SEAL, ballsy fella. He used to do that future weapons on the telly. Well, type in um, Mach Future Weapons AS50 and have a look at the sniper there. Oh my god. It, it goes right through tank armor. And then there's two foot in between. You've made like a, a long box with a tank armor at either side. It goes through the first plate, right through the second plate, and hits ballistic jelly with a with with a measure, scientific measurement thing. And it kept its kinetic energy. So had there been another tank plate, it'd have gone through that as well. That's how powerful it is, and it's so accurate because it's it's got a floating barrel. Um, but we don't use it, but the Americans have got it, and that pisses me off, just a little bit. Anyway, let's have a... Oh, we didn't set up. Sorry about this, lads. Suppression, crack cover, range, range finder. That's uh, so not allowed to come for. Already, that's good. Right, so ah, that's got a bit of a crack to it, like, but accurate. Not much bullets, raw. Yeah, it's nice, but it's got a bit of a crack to the silencer. Now, whereas some of them, such as, um, the, I think the org is, uh, more of a pump sound. But I'll tell you what, gun, look at this. A lot of you, uh, Willie B was reviewing it the other, the other day in one of his videos. And um, I think he underrated it. He was going, ah, look at this, this is great. Uh, Willie's got a new girlfriend and all that, you know, saying, every, every time he likes a gun, he'll say, I've just found my favourite gun. He, you know, he even says that himself. But this PZR, I don't know why it's, it's a PZR, which is a personal defence rifle. Because um, it's in the submachine gun category and... I don't know why, because, do you know what, you can snipe with that, it, it's so accurate, it's, it's like pinpoint accuracy. Handling damage to drones, right, look at it. Uh, now that's nice and quiet, if, you, if you're sneaking a base, just like, and he's dead. Anyway, guys, that's how you get the uh, the 513. I'm going to stick with it for the time being to see how it goes. Um, but that's how you get it. Uh, hope you liked your vid the video. If you did, I'd uh, be grateful if you'd subscribe. Um, I'm an IT engineer, but I'm on contractual basis at the moment because I've got to be at home most of the time as I'm a carer. 
So, something like this will help me out. But, I'm just practicing. Um, so, it'll probably come to nothing. Um, and I need this genre, you know. What can it be? Can it be boxing? You know, can it be military history? Can it be, you know, military arms? Um, can it be gaming? Or can it be a mixture? You know, I, I really don't know. So, but if you could, uh, if you could follow me, that'd be that'd be good. That'd be, that'd be great. Okay, people. Thanks for watching. Later. Gay balls.